Hello PLU community, I'm Lacey Nicholson and welcome to Loot Center, the sports show where we will be taking an in-depth look at various PLU teams as well as specific athletes and their contributions to the university. This week we are highlighting the retirement of longtime PLU men's basketball coach, the dynamic duo of pitchers on the softball team, and first year standout shot putter on the women's track and field team. For our first story, reporter Mikey Langner caught up with the men's basketball head coach, Steve Dickerson, as he prepares to hang it up after 40 plus years of coaching. I caught up with a recently retired and former PLU coach, Steve Dickerson, to find out about his time here at PLU and what he plans to do now that he's retired. 46 years total, 14 at PLU, uh, three as an assistant and 11 as a head coach. Um, I retired from the Columbus school system and my wife and I both went to Washington State. She's a native. She was born and raised in Lakewood. So I had promised her when we got married that uh, we would end up back out here. And 33 and a half years later, I was a man of my word. So we just came out. When asked about his favorite memory at PLU, Coach Dickerson said that nothing came to mind, but rather that he valued his relationships more than anything. Open, but, no, I have a lot of uh, a lot of favorite memories. Most of them revolve around players and uh, what they've done. I mean, I've been in state championships, and we've had a couple of tournament runs here, but it's just the relationships that are special to me. I'm a little bit odd that way. Three, one, two, three. Players, we have meetings, individual meetings once a week, and I, I think those are the things I'll miss the most because that's what you can tell. You can tell what the person is really, really about, and we've had a lot of great people in this program. Brennan Lester has been a four-year starter for Coach Dickerson and has consistently been one of the top players in the conference each season. Lester attributes some of his success to Coach Dickerson's guidance over the last four years. My time with Dickerson has been amazing. Um, he recruited me my senior year of high school um, and I've gotten to know him really well over the past four years. He's helped me uh, with everything from becoming a good basketball player to becoming uh, a man and dealing with all the off-court activities that I've been uh, working with. So it's been an awesome experience with him. Look for the Here's what Coach Dickerson flash. said is so special about small school athletes. Well, I think one of the things they should know is it's really difficult to be a student athlete. It's much more difficult to be a student athlete than it is to be an athlete student, if that makes any sense. Uh, the people that participate in athletics at PLU, the one thing they get is the joy of participating and the joy of being teammates and what that brings but certainly it's a struggle with the way the schedules are set and uh, it's hard work it's really hard work and that's what they don't know he's basically told all of us on the team that uh, first and foremost you're a student and then you're an athlete um, and so I know that that's gonna prepare me uh, as well as the rest of our team basically for the rest of our lives Here's what Coach Dickerson said he plans to do with all of his newfound free time. The problem with my job as a coach is it's been my vocation, my hobby. My, I, I, I don't have any hobbies. This is my hobby. I've been very blessed to have a job that has actually been my hobby that I actually enjoy. So I'm going to have to figure this out, what I'm going to do with time. I'm going to... I've already got another uh, part-time job in the leadership training program, and so that'll take some of the time. Our guys here for ever. It's about your teammates. It's about your experiences. It's about your road trips. It's about the stories you tell, and it's not necessarily about wins and losses. The older you get. Throughout his tenure at PLU. Dickerson has earned over 100 victories and has won the respect of his players during that time. Now that he has more time on his hands, Dickerson plans to take a trip with his wife Christy through the Tobacco Road in North Carolina to see legendary college basketball teams play, such as the University of North Carolina and Duke. 
Next, reporter Dylan Foreman went outside to profile first year shot putter, whose name is so long people call her Etta, as she has had a successful campaign. Not only is her talent intriguing, but her family background is what makes her stand out. Here at PLU on the women's track and field team, a first year is turning heads not only with her shot put ability, but because of her cultural background as well. PLU has something special the women's shot putter Vaki Omanu Hunkin. She has got ridiculous strength and fantastic work ethic. However, a lot of student athletes have that. What sets her apart is her discipline and her respect to her sport and her peers, thanks to her Samoan and Tongan background. I'm Samoan and Tongan. I think my culture showed me a lot of like respect and discipline, especially for, um, well, I guess my elders, but in this case, it would be coaches and upperclassmen. Or, I come into the sport knowing things because you know I did it in high school, but it's like I'm not going to step out of place and like disrespect some of my upperclassmen, or I'm not going to tell them they're wrong if they're trying to help me out. Like I take what they tell me, I use that, and then I listen to the coach, learn from them, and yeah. Family is a big deal in Samoan and Tongan culture. Family is also a big deal to Hunkin, who credits her family for the success she has had thus far. For me, family is everything. Like I don't think I could do anything without my family. And I know that if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be where I was. Like I know everybody says that, but like I really, I really, really mean that. Like without my family, I'd be nothing. My dad taught me everything. I know my mom. Like she showed me what I need to do, like how I should be acting around other people and how I need to act out in public and how to carry myself as a proud Samoan woman and stuff like that. But like, uh, my dad and uh, my mom, they raised us on the Fa Samoa, which translates to the Samoan way, and that's just like the cultural, um, like how we respect our elders and how we treat other people around us, not just our family, but yeah. With each week, Hunkin continues to improve. Fellow teammate and accomplished shot putter, senior Lucas Hatton feels that she is destined to get much better. Gifted athlete, and she's, she's already put up some big marks early, but what I think is the most exciting about her is uh, she contributes to the team really well, and she has a really good hard working mindset and as far as her technique goes in the shot put and the hammer and in discus, she's she has so much upward potential. She's still really raw and there's there's so much room for improvement. If you think Vakiumano is a difficult name, you should hear the names of her siblings, one of which plays on the PLU football team. His nickname is Muki. My oldest brother, the one that goes here, his full name is the Papa Matia Tia Le Muki Hankin. My younger brother, he's a senior right now. His full name is Leituma Lo Talofa Yomo Moonga Pono Hankin. And then my little sister, she's a junior. Her full name is Letawa Letise Georgina Sanchen Hankin. The future is bright for Hankin. After earning an indoor All West Regional honor, her natural talent and cultural values prime her to have a fantastic career here at PLU. Hunkin was recently named Northwest Conference Field Athlete of the Week, and her fellow teammates are confident that she has a bright future ahead of her and will continue to succeed. Softball pitchers Ellie Rossback and Marissa Miller are dominating this year. Both have been named Northwest Conference Pitcher of the Week for a combined three times already, and have together tallied for 12 wins and 7 losses. Our very own half-athlete, Christian Bond, took a trip to the batter's box to see what makes them so deadly on the mound. Hi, I'm Christian Bond. After two years, I've been calling myself PLU's half-athlete. I played three sports in high school, but I can't quite cut the mustard in college. We thought it'd be a fun idea to meet up with different athletes around campus and have me try and do what they do. This is Half Athlete Tries. Right now, I'm going to try and get a hit off of Marissa Miller. <laughs> She's really close. <laughs> I don't know what to say. It, it's fast. <laughs> Strike three. <laughs> Up next, I'm going to try and get a hit off of Ellie Rosbach. Add a piece of that. <laughs> what we'll breaking ball did you throw? What breaking ball did you throw? Guess we'll find out. 
too much fun. <laughs> I'm Ellie Rosbach, I'm a junior, and I'm a pitcher. And I'm Marissa Miller, and I'm also a pitcher, junior. So you didn't start out as a pitcher though, Ellie, did you? Uh, no, my freshman year I hit, I was a DP. Yeah. Um, what, is, what is a DP? A uh, DP is a person who hits in the lineup but doesn't play in the field. Usually they hit for the pitcher, okay. but not necessarily. Okay. Um, and you have, you have a home run to your name, correct? I do, yeah. Can you tell me a story about how that happened? Yeah, we were at Lewis and Clark, and we were up maybe by one or two runs. Um, not really a game that should have been close, but uh, it was. And I was pitching, and um, our hitters were just kind of struggling at the plate. And um, Coach asked, actually asked Mar, who should pinch hit in that situation? And she said I should, and so I got to pinch hit and um, hit home run. Are you jealous of Ellie's home run? Marissa? No, I take credit for it. Okay. <laughs> I put Ellie in She's in the mastermind. So. I'm just the brawn, so. Yeah, exactly. Is there a skill or is there a pitch that Ellie has that, that you wish you had? I wish I had Ellie's range. It's a rise ball change combination, and no one can hit it. So. No, what does it do? What is, what is the action it on the pitch? It goes up and it's slow, so you're like, oh yeah, it's going to be a great one. And then they swing, and then they're like 15 feet in front of it. Wow. Same question for you. Does, does Marissa have a pitch that, that you wish you had? Oh my gosh, her curveball. I can't touch it when I hit against her, and I don't have a curveball at all. So, okay. oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> I love that pitch. Uh, how did I look in the batter's box? You looked good. You looked aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But you didn't really hit a, a lot of them. So, didn't hit a line drive off me, though. Yeah. So, there you go. I did. You touched Sweet. it. I yes. did. That's all I wanted to do, just touch it. So, this has been Half Athlete Tries with Ellie Rosbach, and Marissa Miller. Uh, we'll see you again next time. The Lutes are currently at nine wins and five losses in the Northwest Conference and rank fourth in the standings. That's all we have for tonight. Thanks for watching Lute Center. We hope you enjoyed our first show. We'll see you next time. Go Lutes!